Okay, so so I finally got the 3D pedal things going, so I want to show how I did it. So I'm starting off with a couple of weird flat trays. I'm not doing coasters this time, but I do want to show the process. So um, this is the first part of that. So I'm using my cast and craft. I just put like 20 drops of this stuff in here, and I may, may adjust it because it has to be good and white. This stuff's really hard to get out of the bottle. I always had to poke new holes in it, but anyway, um, that's what I'm doing. So now I can show I've got this nice and opaque with that stuff. So I'm going to put this into a piping bag. Um, cause that's the key. You want to have really thin lines when you do this. And let your resin kind of sit around because it works best when the resin is about, you know, 20 minutes in. So I might go feed my cats and come back before I continue. Okay, so I've gone, I fed my cats, some time has elapsed. I've got my white inside this piping bag, which I'm gonna, um, oh, I spilled on the outside, not good. So I'm gonna go and snip the top of it and we'll get this party started. And I picked out some colors. So here we go. I dropped some black alcohol ink in the center. Alcohol ink, that's a key. You gotta use alcohol ink when you do this. Got a couple colors dropped here. I'm just letting them sit and I'm gonna add a couple more colors and we'll start the white. Okay, so now I've got my colors here. So now I'm gonna start the, uh, the white in a pastry bag or yeah, that thing, piping bag. So the key here is getting a really fine little line coming out here. Okay. And also, you don't want it to get blobby, so what you have to do... Oh, no. Well, there goes that pair of pants. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just spilled stuff all over my pants. Um, so you just want to start really small, and you just start... I start making swirls. Oh, man. This is not coming out. Hang on. Okay, so I've uh, swirled all over my my things now and I'm going to um, do some more stuff now, some toothpick work. So I swirled with my piping bag, random patterns. Okay, so we had some messes happen, but I've dealt with them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my toothpick and do some, some swirling here. It really makes a difference. So I'm just going to kind of go in this direction. Don't want to overdo it though. So just do, do this. There we go. And then I'm going to do this to like pull petals. Pull out, 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 in, 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 in. Same here. In, 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 out, 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 out. And a little extra swirl in the middle because it really makes a difference. Why is the music off? Okay. And now we wait. Tomorrow morning, we'll see what we have. Here it is the next morning. I'm about to unmold them. I would show the unmolding, but I'm the only one here and it takes two hands. So I'll check them out. So as you can see, oh yes, it happened. So what, what I want to do now to make these as stunning as possible is I'm going to pour a background color. So I'm going to go with a dark color. Um, I'm going to go with black just because it's so striking when I do that. So that's next. Okay, so I've got my black pigment mixed up. I use this Tat Plastic Super Pigment. It's, look how messy the jar is. It's really hard to keep this this pigment inside the jar and not all over my hands. But anyway, I'm going to pour these now and then we'll have to wait. Okay, so now we wait and I hope that that black didn't seep underneath either one of them. Um, I'm probably going to stop peeking at some point um, and just go, just go with the second layer the next day. But you do have to wait till the next day. Okay, I just took off one of the molds. Look at this. Is that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. And there you have it. 
Thanks for watching.